All right, guys, we're out here at Rage Day SHOT Show 2023. I got team captain for Glock, Shay Coley with me. And Shay, what's new at Glock? What do we got? So this model right here is the new Glock 47. It's got all the Gen 5 features that you've been accustomed to over the last couple of years. We've got the flared magwell, no finger grooves, front serrations, GMB barrel, and the NDLC finish. Now this is also MOS, so it is optics ready. And we've also got the performance trigger inside of this pistol. Now the performance trigger really meets a different set of criteria, increases the performance. It holds the firing pin to the rear now with a sear and a sear holder, and the trigger itself is phenomenal to shoot. So we got Max here. Let's put some bullets down range. Outstanding. You definitely feel the difference. Very big difference. You know, I went from, uh, my last gun I was issued was the Gen 4, then I bought a Gen 519. Definitely see the difference there, but this yep. is definitely a step up. All right, guys, check it out. Do you know what the hell you're doing? Guys, yeah. check it out. Oh, you know what look, the hell yeah. you're doing? No, I really don't. I really don't. <laughs> don't tell you what you're happened. You're looking good, bro. You're looking good. You're looking good, Charles. So we got the Hellcat Pro. This is the new uh, big one. This one has the uh, RMSC red dot. It comes out of the box, 50 round mag. Let's give it a whirl. Nice, dude. This thing is uh, deceivingly lightweight. Nice to carry. Good shooter. Nice. I like it. We've got the Springfield Armory Helion. Um, kind of a full pump version. I'm going to give it a try. I've never shot this gun before, so I'll see how it does. Well, 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 you sick, twisted freaks. Good to have you back on Tactical High. Dutch Chris Morty with you at the Industry Day on the range for the SHOT Show. And we're here to tell you about the Maxim Defense 240 can. So we all know that when you're on the battlefield, you know this, right? It gets loud, right? So loud. You got your battle rifles going on. You got grenades going on. You got the 249 saw going on. And this monster is loud. So what Maxim's done, right? They've taken this 240K and put it on this beast. It's 136 dBA. So human degradation of the hearing goes from 145 to 155. I'm speaking to you probably at about 110. Normal conversations, you know, normal, or about 95. So 136, you can shoot this without ears, but I think today we have to have ears, but you can shoot this thing without ears easy. Do you want to fire this thing up? Sure. I know you do. Hey, you want to show everybody how it works? We'll bring it down in here. Yeah, so the 240 is easy, right? Everybody, it's, it's a fire from an open bolt position. You don't need to charge the weapon. Once we load the weapon and close the cover, all Door's gonna have to do is move the selector lever over to fire and get to work, right? So how do we do that? We do that just like this. We're gonna lay this ammunition on this tray. We're gonna close that tray, make sure it's closed. Of course it is. He's gonna get behind the gun and put the sights on. And then it's on him when he wants to get to work. All right, and just we listen to this thing not make any noise. Fifty-three round quad sack magazine, single follower, single spring, so there's no jamming four into two that causes those malfunctions. So what we've done is we've taken the same length as a 30 round PMAG, widened it up so it holds 53, and it gets it's much more reliable because of that. And then the receiver is built to hold it instead of having a a, a magazine adapted to fit a rifle. We've built the magazine and then a receiver to, to hold it. You can basically just swap out the lower receiver with your favorite rifle and then you yeah. can run 53 round magazines, which is pretty cool for those who need it. You know? Yeah, yeah. And then if you're in a combat situation, instead of carrying seven or eight, 12 magazines, you can carry four or five mags and you've got the same amount of ammo and less weight and less reload. So. All right, guys, we got the Desert Tech Quattro 15. Takes their proprietary magazine in the uh, custom built lower. You can fit any AR-15 upper on top of here, so you have a favorite one, it fits right on. Let's go ahead and give this thing a whirl. Outstanding. Cool. 
Thank you. You like that? Yeah. Awesome. You get up. Feels good. Good. You get up. That mag just goes and goes and goes. <laughs> and that wasn't even full. Yeah. <laughs> right on. All right, so yeah. these are, you can see they're the same receiver group. This one's just more modernized for all the SOP mod and attachments, red dots, lasers, flashlights, grips. And then this is your plain Jane Kami Special. All right, this is uh, pretty much the second half of the 20th century. Everybody had one of these. If you didn't, you were probably getting killed by one. The only answer to it was our M16 family. But yeah, these things are awesome. Um, I've got one and uh, they just run. And that's really all I need a gun to do. I just need it to work. And these things work. So is, uh, is this new? Not new, but yeah. Yes. For you guys? Yes, but no. Awesome. So M16A1 clone? You bet. And you've got uh, Harrington and Richardson uh, markings on there. They were a government contractor. Yep. One of the smaller ones, but they were definitely in the mix. Yep. You got this cool Harrington and Richards. This is pretty cool. It's very rare, but they went with it. Obviously, Harrington and Richards aren't as crazy as Colt is with their uh, trademarking. Got the A1 full birdcage bayonet lug. This thing is nice. Yeah, we got the uh, old school waffle 20 round mags. Yeah. Running 193 55 grain. Oh, yep, pull that out for me. Thank you, safety first. They're fake. All right. Uh, yeah. Outstanding. Awesome. Beauty, classic. Harrington and Richardson, factory direct, M16A1 clone. I like the paddle, it's ambidextrous, just like the way it should be. This is kind of the original design, and then they go into the button as well, but that's not ambidextrous. I think this is, I think this is better. Agreed. Yeah, awesome. So, BP9, ambi paddle, mag piece, hooked up with the red dot hot stem, let's give it a whirl. Very nice. Cool, it's a good gun. I've always wanted to shoot one of these, kind of the newest, latest, greatest generation. I was a big fan of their USP line. I still have one of those. A lot of stuff. A lot of wind, a lot of guns, a lot of cold hands. It was fun though. I think I'm definitely gonna have to give the MVP for the day to these flag banners blowing in the wind. I mean, tried and true. A lot of fun. Honestly, the highlight for me was that Harrington and Richardson M16A1. I love the retro stuff. I love the old stuff. It's honestly all I really enjoy shooting, to be honest. Yeah, there's a lot of cool, a lot of great stuff, man. A lot of great stuff. I finally got to shoot that VP9. Always wanted to shoot one of those. The can that, that uh, Maxim's running on that 240. I mean, it was pretty awesome. No splashback in your face. You know, generally when you put a, uh, a suppressor on a belt gun, you're gonna get a lot of gas back in your face. It's something that plagued me my entire career and uh, I didn't get any. So obviously stuff's getting better. It's getting lighter, more efficient, and it's exciting. Can't wait for tomorrow to see what we find. All right, guys, if you like this content, you know what to do. Give us a like, subscribe if you haven't done so, and uh, hit us up in the comments. If there's something you want to see, we'll get it for you. Door out. <laughs>